Hey, this is Tracy with Color Me This. I am finally finding time to video my Castle Arts experience. I call it that because it ended up that I bought like a suite of products from two different sources. And I also expanded my reason for buying them. My initial reason for buying them was that I wanted to buy some a little bit more expensive pencils that came with more. And the, the best pencils I could find at the time that came with stuff, like for a beginner, if I wanted to get somebody I know a set of pencils that that I could come, that would come with a case and that I had the option of getting some extra like information and like a beginner book and some coloring supplies the best hands down I think is Castle Arts from what I have found I've done a lot of research on the videos the quality of the pencils uh, are are decent and competitive with those economical price range pencils but you also get this added stuff so I wanted to review what that added stuff was go over my pricing uh, and then the experience that I had so this is one of the sets that I got I ended up with the gold 120 in the case here as well as the metallics 50 in the case both of those products ended up being purchased on Amazon and I chose Amazon for that purchase because I wanted what was called the extras and you cannot buy the extras which I will show you in a minute uh, from the Castle Arts website I bought a third product from Amazon but I was forewarned in reading the reviews that the gel pens, which was something that I needed to replenish for myself because my entire gel pen collection consists of, that's it. I used to years ago have all of the jelly rolls and then when I repurchased my supplies after I lost them all, this ended up being all that I ended up with. I think I had a couple more Bix and a couple more art alternatives, but I gave them to Hub because he loves a good gel pen. So I probably have a blue and another, like a blue and a purple up here and maybe the black and something else down here. These art alternatives are sparkly and they're very cute. They come from Dollar General and I think they're a little over a dollar. So going back to Castle Arts, the extras that come with the Amazon version of the product, if you buy the, it has extras in the title, you get these papers and for the golds you get four different paper pads and these pads you cannot purchase. Like I said, Castle Arts doesn't sell them on their website. And I'm not sure, I did not see if Castle Arts sells them on Amazon. My theory, by the way, with this extras bundle is that this gets new customers in the door for Castle Arts. I think it's a good marketing program that they have. The only one downfall that I see, but that is just the way I have always done colored pencils. I have owned the professional pencils for many years and I just replace them as I use them one at a time. And there is no way to buy just one pencil or a replacement of any. They, they have acrylic and paints and pastels and things and you can't buy anything as a single. You have to buy it as, as a package. So the Bristol board paper is all, all four of these papers. I only have three. Here's the fourth one. So you get four packs of papers with the gold and they all have 20 sheets in each set. The thicknesses I noticed are different for each of the four. I really, really like the craft one. This is a thin enough cardstock that would definitely run through a printer easily. And the cardstock of their swatches, which I have here, is very thick. My printer will go through, will take up to 80 pound without a problem. I start having a problem when I get into the 90 to 100 on up and I start having feed problems. So these papers are definitely 
they feel like a paper type cardstock. And it has a pretty smooth tooth, which I like a smooth tooth. So I'm surprised at three of the four are smooth tooth papers. So I should enjoy doing some projects with these. The Bristol board paper is a cool white. You'll see the, the little dappled, this is late afternoon. Uh, it is my third time videoing this. I'm trying to streamline it, so we'll see if I can keep it crisp. This is starting to get thicker. It actually is the thickest one. It says it's 250 GSM. It is called a Bristol board paper sketch pad. The black paper is, again, like a very smooth, thinner cardstock. It's 135. The very first one was 118. And then the white cartridge paper is a uh, toothy paper. So this is the toothiest. If you like toothy, you will get in this pack for a beginner. If you're looking for a gift for somebody or you're just starting out yourself, this is a good paper to pack with the extras because you do get one paper. The nice thing is the backside is smooth. So if you do not like the rough, the backside is perfectly smooth, like, well, not perfectly smooth. I see a little bit of tooth to it, but nothing like this side, which is really bumpy, kind of like a pastel type paper. So you get these four with the golds. You get three of the four with the metallics, and the one you don't get with the metallics is the beige. So I, because I bought both, have all of these pads, which is nice. Very, very nice. Okay, let's talk really quick about the extra materials that you get in addition to the paper pads. You get your swatch chart for each item that you buy. Everything comes with a swatch chart. You get a introduction to whatever your material is. This happens to be the metallics because it's nearby and I have the metallics, you get, everybody gets the tutorial for the art that's on the wrap. So each of the products comes with its own unique wrap. This artwork is what you get a tutorial for. Then if you decide you want to become a club member, you get these extra perks. And one of the perks is that you have access to all of the products tutorials, as well as some coloring pages. And I counted over 60. So inside here, there is some marketing information about their product line. Then you have inside a tutorial and it is very generic. The line art is what you can download um, from the club. And that's nice to be able to take and transfer onto one of these pads. And then you get to look at the colors they used, but it, there, it's the guide is very generic. It's not like one of the tutorials that you see online in YouTube where they give you, oh, sorry, I say that and then look, the colors are right here. Ah, that's great. So they do give you the colors all the way down for each step. All right, so that is even more impressive. All right, so you get with the regular pencils, with the golds, you get a very elaborate colored pencil guide. Just all sorts, they just packed it with all sorts of information about light sources and the color wheel and mixing colors, how to use additional, you know, how to sharpen your pencils, the different cases you can have. Very, very happy with the Amazon portion of my purchase. So let's move on. I wanna peek quick at the metallics. The metallics is the one that I had the least amount of plans for in using it so I haven't even finished the chart I will come back with another episode that I actually create and talk about finishing the swatch and using these pencils I can tell you that my expectation of a metallic is more than what I see here so I know there's better quality metallics I would say that these just feel like a little bit of a graphite that's kind of, they just have a graphite sort of a tint. Maybe even that's the content in them. So they're not what I was expecting for metallics, but I've never owned metallic pencils. So I didn't really have an expectation and I didn't do a ton of research. 
All right, the particular, just really quick, this is the artwork that you get in the tutorial for the gold. It is called a frieze, and it literally walks you through making the tutorial is for each of these graphics, the strawberry, the butterfly, the face, tiger, rose, frog, and the parrots. So you get like a combo tutorial with the gold. So I'm gonna come over here and the third product that I did buy right here from Amazon, the warning was be sure to look right away at the gel pens. This is a hundred pack of gel pens and make sure that none of them have been used. Quite a few people mention that because of the fulfillment, the Amazon fulfillment fulfilling these, people were returning these with colors used, like they would use three or four colors and then return them. I bought two sets from Amazon and had to return them both because I would go, th I, I in fact, the very first set I started going through and by the second color, you can see that this is a very elaborate, it's a four page spread. So I was through, you know, this pack and just starting on my second page of the gel pens or second fold in this pack of the gel pens when I noticed a couple were used. So I went, dang it, returned them, compared when the second one came and sure enough, there were even more used in the second set. So I then went to the Castle Arts website intending to complain, but then got sidetracked by checking their pricing. They were having a sale, so I immediately, I'm a sucker for a sale and a coupon. So I popped over into their shop before I even left them an email and noticed the pricing for these. This was $27.99 on Amazon and they were marked down to 19.99 which i thought was pretty impressive and i and i it, the warning was don't buy from amazon buy directly from castle arts they always have sales going on so i went ahead and put them in my cart and while i was there i noticed a really good price of like 44 for the soft touch pencils i had already opened the gold and when i opened the gold and i was working on my swatching i noticed right away here when I was looking through the pencils that the blues were kind of light. I didn't like the few number of blues. So I was looking at the case and here's the case. I like the case, by the way, it's individual loops like the nice pencil um, zippered containers that I own for my professional pencils that I ironically have taken all of the pencils out. I have videos on what I've done with my professional pencils for you to review. I have videos on how I swatch and why. All of those are in the first five episodes. This is episode six, so you can go back through if you have popped in because of the name Castle Arts, and you can kind of see where I'm at in my coloring journey and this new channel. So. I will do a comparison of the pencils here in a minute because I just wanted you to see that the zipper, I've had no problems with the zipper working and I have used these for a couple of projects that I will share quickly at the end, but wasn't happy with the color selection of the blues and I already knew that. And so as I was going along, I put the soft touch in my cart because I noticed that unlike the six or so blues that you get. You get a couple of blues here because you have a lot of the teals. That kind of sort of is a very light blue. So seven blues tops and that's including this ultramarine light. So there were 14 blues that I saw in the soft touch and I had seen good reviews for both. I had gone toward the gold and already bought the gold because I'm an oil pencil person, not a wax-based pencil person. My history is with Faber-Castell Polychromos. So that's why I got the gold, but I thought for the $44.99, I left it in my cart. I thought I'm not, I'm interested in getting those. Then I would have like kind of a full collection of Castle Arts. The next day I get up, I have an email. It's a coupon for 24% off for the next 24 hours on top of the $19 and $44, which was the discounted amount 
for the gel pens and the soft touches so I went ahead and got those both of those so the gel pens let's swatch look at my swatch really quick for the gel pens which I have finished double um, again you can watch videos on how I swatch and why my swatching is um, I love to swatch but I also swatch for whatever my purpose is for what I'm going to use these for and my main purpose for gel pens is for finishing crafting projects mainly cards handmade cards I like to doodle and I like to write so when I was using the swatch chart that came with the castle arts I felt restricted in trying to do all of my experiments I needed to do in this little box so you'll see here that I have the full sheet on the basic white which is the Stampin Up paper that I use for making my cards I practiced filling in solid the bigger solid square which I'm not needing to do very often but I wanted to go ahead and get that cataloged because you'll see that certain colors have line they, they leave lines and that is the main flaw that I saw with the idea of using these for coloring on coloring pages which isn't my main purpose my main purpose is the writing exercise the cross hatching and the little dots and squiggles of which for those purposes I thought that the all of the different products in the giant pack of 100 all the gel pens did great for what I would be using them for I also then co coated the um, what each section is for so you can see that I have like 17 metallics and then these are the different I don't even know uh, we've got um, 16N, 1C, 4C, 1M, and if I would be have been good, I would have written notes. I, and then I also have uh, glitter and neon, swirl, pastel. So I have tried to catalog here in the case. Oh yeah, so I have all of these uh, labeled. Classic, that's what the C is for. Classic, there's one, one metallic over here and one classic don't I don't know why there's one and four so I have tried my best to corral all of these gel pens and get them ready for me to use I've already used them a couple of times now and then I even have a project to share with you so the difference between the soft touch and the gold when I did my first project that's floating around here I did a project where I worked with both of these at the same time I just gave them different areas on my page so at first I kept my pencils very separate but then I realized they're so different from each other being that the gold is blue and the soft touch is black and the soft touch is silver but the gold is gold so it was easy enough to tell them apart that soon enough I let them mix and intermingle with each other and the case for the soft touch is the identical case as for the gold and you get uh, the wrap has a ship and you get a tutorial for the ship as well as the little the little pet coloring guide and all that so pricing wise let's see if I can uh, so just so you know what kind of deals I got I think there might be better deals on Amazon but I did want the extras and I got those for it looks like 5% off because you also have a discount sale discount price then there's their promotions if you buy more than one product and I bought three products so I got an extra discount of 5% off of the price so I paid $41.84 for the metallic $55.79 for the gold and over on their website, I ended up with a really good deal, I feel, of $15.19 for the 100 set of gel pens, as well as $34.20 is what I paid for the soft touch with all those blues. So I was pretty happy with the prices that I paid. Let me know what you think uh, with your experience with Castle Arts, if you are happy with what you paid uh, ba based on the quality that you got. So now we are clipping along and I have this wonderful piece of 
pattern paper that is from Stampin' Up, which is what I am a, I am a demonstrator for Stampin' Up. So I love their DSP and coloring in their black and white versions of their DSPs that they have. This is an old, older one that's been retired. And the, this, this side is all soft touch. This side is all the gold. I went ahead and did the bigger flowers in the gold because I knew that that kind of was the, the, bread and butter of what I wanted, the main colors that I wanted, but that I would probably be intermixing them, especially for the blues. So I used two different sets of pinks. I think this pink I wasn't really happy with, but I kind of liked the look of the pinks that I chose over here. And then my greens, you'll see I kind of went with a fall tone on both sides with a little bit of brown mixed in. And I liked how, how the pencils all worked for me. Uh, my style of coloring is more uh, intermixing many colors, I guess, uh, based on doing like a, a na I like to draw nature and portraits, which again, those are all in the first five videos you can see on the channel, kind of what my style is. So, so I went ahead and used the pencils more like I would be using them on my own coloring projects for this page. And I liked everything about it. And then I did use the few blues, there's only six blues, like I said. So on in this project, I used the gold blues because I have then another project where I was playing with the soft touch blues. And I really liked how the blues worked. I did little circles. You can even see uh, representative circles in here in my little circles. I tend to draw in the direction of what that item's texture would be so the flowers are more straight lines following the line art lines and then for the soft soft sky I just went ahead with little circles so that's for that particular coloring project I then grabbed the soft touch blues and I created this project I stopped at doing just the wings because that was my exercise with the blues and I then also really got into it with this particular white gel pen which I used to brighten up the the this is Kirby Rosanna's Fragile World and if you look at the original of this it is quite dark so I ended up using the white to get rid of this dark outline as well as lighten up these areas that I was gonna have blue. And then I also used an eraser. I used an electric eraser, but I, I don't know where I set it down at, but I have my Mono Zero. It, the electric eraser I use is as small as this one. And I used it to just pick up and zip up a little bit of the blue all along the wing here and around this parts of the wing and then I went through with the gel pen and did a whole bunch of dotting. So that's how I finished this. And then I used three colors right here. These three colors is what made the iridescent rainbowy effect on the wings. So that's what my experience has been with Castle Arts. I'm curious what your experience has been. I still think I love all of the stuff that you get with them and I love going onto the website and seeing all the tutorials and so far for me the pencils have worked very well so I am pleased with them. I will follow up with a review of the metallics uh, but probably won't come back with anything on the other three products uh, though I will if I use them in projects I will certainly bring pop on here and share them with you but I for my evaluation review video, I think that for everything except the metallics, I am finished. This is a new channel, so be sure to do all the YouTube things, like, share, and subscribe. Be sure to comment with your thoughts. Let me know what you think of my coloring journey thus far, and stay tuned for the next one. As always, thanks for watching.